hello guys how are you doing um, the world has lost a very great legend one of the greatest of all times in the boxing uh, arena one of the gladiators of all times in these uh, sports the world lost him yesterday his name is Pernell Whitaker and this was him in his prime and um, the, the way he died was um, very unfortunate he was walking on the road and then a car came along and hit him uh, probably ran him over and they said that by the time uh, police arrived police received a call around 10 30 p.m. at night that was around when it happened in the evening uh, around 10 30 p.m. and uh, when they came they saw him lifeless they tried to give him CPR CPR didn't work they put him in an ambulance and rushed him to hospital that didn't work too he gave up the ghost and this happened a day after he met Floyd Mayweather so he met Floyd Mayweather two days ago he, he just hooked up a day with a day ago uh, a day before he did his death with Floyd Mayweather and after that um, he just died suddenly and um, the driver remained on site with the police and uh, the released said and uh, the investigation remains active and um, his son his son's name is Dominic Whitaker and Dominic Whitaker said he wrote on Facebook we lost a legend a truly one of boxing's greatest pound-for-pound -pound, uh, champions my father Pernell Sweet P uh, Whitaker his son Dominic Whitaker all right so the man that knocked him down was there. It was not a hit and run incident. The man was the man stood there until police arrived. Whitaker, a southpaw known for his defensive prowess, grew up in Norfolk, an amateur boxer. As an amateur boxer, his record was on 201 14. 201. He had a lot of fights with 91 knockouts. He won Olympic gold at uh, the 1984 summer games in los angeles and also won gold at the 1983 pan-african games and silver at the 1982 world champion Whitaker turned pro in 1984 after the olympics and went on to become the become a world champion in four different weight classes lightweight light welterweight welterweight and light middleweight in his professional career he had 40 wins 17 of which were by knockouts, four losses and one draw. He was recognized by boxing publication Ring Magazine as Fighter of the Year in 1989 and um, he retired in 2001. In 2002, the magazine ranked him the 10th greatest boxer of the last 80 years. Whitaker retired from boxing around 2001 and worked as a trainer. He was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2007. So um, the crash happened in Sarkozy. Uh, it claimed the life of um. Okay, yeah. Basically, that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching uh, for the first time. Um, subscribe so that anytime I make a new video, you will be the first to get the notification. Okay. Uh, click that red subscribe button below. Thank you very much. See you.